All right, hey guys, welcome back to Five Fist Channel. It's Kai. So today we have over here 40262, which is called the Christmas Train Ride. Over here with three minifigures, retails for nine dollar ninety nine cents USD and nineteen dollar ninety cents Singapore, and has one hundred and sixty nine pieces. So let's open this up and review it. All right, so now I'll go on with the review of this set. So for this part, we set called Christmas Train Ride. Over here we have three minifigures, including the conductor, the kid, and the barista. I said earlier. So now I'm going to first look at the main set design first. So first of all, for this one, as you can see, it has some shops that actually sells um, some beverages like coffee and like biscuits over there at the back. And also we have this conductor over here, which goes around kind of driving this particular small toy train or a mini train for people to ride on in the Christmas Village and all. So yeah, so looking first at this train over here, it's pretty nice in appearance. It's really nice in terms of all the festive colors that we see, red and green, which is honestly relatively found in Christmas seasons. Of course, the train over here has some decorations as well, which includes like this red flower and gold flower over here, which adds some aesthetical appeal, appeal to this particular train. And then the train also has some gold pieces in front and some of these black pieces and transparent pieces, which is uses to for its kind of lighting source and all. So otherwise, at the back, we also have those stores over there as well, which is pretty neat in appearance as well, although it's pretty simple built. This one doesn't really have anything except for that stack of cheese over there. And also over here, we have a cup piece on top and a biscuit piece over here as well that represents the kind of stores insignia and also the same pieces over here, but representing as part of the items that are sold in this particular mini store. And then over here, we have kind of a Christmas tree, I guess, to an extent, on some snow plate over there. So yeah, with a nice flower at the side as well. The barista is just over there, kind of waiting for people to come about to the village. And then he will introduce the customers to see at this bench area over here, which is kind of has a nice snow plate down beneath as well. And then last but not least, we have this map Kind of plate piece over here with a nice two by two new uh, printed piece as well which represents kind of where the town is actually located at so yeah so honestly i really like this particular mini build over here just because there's actually a trans white kind of minifigure head piece over there which is a nice addition to this set and yeah it just gives off quite a nice christmas vibe to this particular mini build so now i'm going to move on to looking at the minifigures for our first minifigure over here, we have the conductor from this set over here, which has a nice kind of red head piece over there with him. Which honestly is really nice. I haven't actually seen any of this dark red head piece over there, which this conductor uses. So I'm really happy to get this in this particular minifigure. Of course, his face burn is pretty generic with a nice kind of spectacle piece over there with his nice red beard that he has. Otherwise, looking to his torso prints over there, I really like this prints. I actually got one from the particular kind of minifigure shelf uh, back in the day when the Lego store was kind of still having those random those that you make random minifigures there so yeah by the way just looking at this particular torso prints I really like it with its red tie and that stopwatch in his pocket that makes it really unique for other kinds of torso prints looking to the back of course he has some back prints as well with a nice belt on the end so yeah his torso prints actually doesn't have anything and it's just a plain dark grey bluish grey kind of piece and that's kind of it for this minifigure now let's move on to the second one all right now moving on to the second minifigure over here we have the barista which has a pretty nice black hair piece over there with his generic face prints he of course also has that generically found um, torso prints over there that can be found actually in numerous sets such as the cmf series for lego movie one and also like the you know the target set that I recently bought so yeah but I really like the particular torso prints just because he has the name tag and also the particular coffee shop insignia that he has in the middle of his shirt he also spots a regular dark brown leg piece over there with of course some back prints for his torso piece and that's kind of it for this minifigure now let's move on to the last minifigure so for our third minifigure over here we have the girl which is basically provided in this set First of all, she has kind of an orange color hair piece that is usually found in middle-aged minifigures instead of young ones, but it actually goes well with this particular minifigure. She has fractals on her face together with a nice smoke, which adds on to aesthetic appeal to this minifigure. 
Otherwise, moving on to the torso prints, she has a nice purple scarf on her torso together with a nice cayenne kind of dressing and a nice belt. And then she also spots a kind of short purple leg piece over there, which goes well with the middle figure. Her accessory comes with little gold pieces like cheese over there, which gives a kind of a weird appeal to this minifigure. Now we can move on to the back of the torso prints, which actually spots some of her uh, costumes dressing over there as well, which adds on to some nice printing to the back. And that's kind of it for this minifigure. Now let's move on to the general verdict of the entire set. So for today's general verdict, I'm actually going to use a new breathing system for my sets from now on. So I'm thinking of using basically a three-tier rating system over here, depending on its functionality, price-to-piece ratio, and of course, aesthetics. So first of all, for its functionality as kind of a Christmas festivity set over here, it's pretty neat for what it is. So I'll actually give it a 7 just because like it has a nice, I guess, combination of green, red, and white pieces that's commonly found in Christmas. And like the the shots at the back over there actually really gives off kind of a Christmas tea vibes to it. And there was also a nice addition of those white pieces that makes it look like it's snowing around and it has a nice snowy landscape. Otherwise, definitely the one that adds on to the most Christmas vibe to this set is actually the kind of train conductor mini train over here, which has some nice uh, flower pieces which adds on to Christmas vibes together with, I guess, the kid over here which is kind of riding on it which makes it more jolly in appearance. So yeah, I'll give it a 7. But the reason why it doesn't go anywhere above 7 is just because this set is actually quite small in appearance for what it is, and I guess its play features is not as much as well, which is why the kind of functionality is not as high. So in terms of functionality and rating in terms of play features as well, since this set is absent of that, um, it doesn't go anywhere above the rating of 7 for this particular section. Next on, um, rating on aesthetics wise, I'll give it an 8 just because it really works well for what it is as a Christmas set. It, as I said, it has a lot of colorations over here that matches with the Christmas theme and it even has some accessories over there like that biscuit piece and those mug pieces which makes it really like uh, a festive kind of seasonal area over here, a seasonal landscape that we see in this particular set. So which is why it's an 8. And then next on, in terms of price to piece ratio is really what I want to talk about. So usually um, each piece is around 10 cents in USD. So maybe around 0.13 HDD. Anyway, the calculations wise, basically what I found out is that with 169 pieces, um, it's actually pretty affordable and really reasonable pricing for it at 19.90. So yeah, it's a highly recommended set as a Christmas set to get but because it actually mostly consists of smaller pieces in general my rating for this particular section will be a 9 out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10 so with a 9 8 and 7 rating is basically total score is a 24 out of 30 which is an 80 percent basically so 80 percent for me basically means an a rating so yeah this is an a great set in my opinion so basically means it's really possible in terms of appearance and it's really nice for its aesthetics wise and like its price to piece ratio. So yeah, that's my opinion on this and I rate it an A. I hope you liked this video and I highly recommend you to buy this set. In general, quick, see you on the next adventure and remember to subscribe and turn on the notification button. Bye guys!